For practice at self-check 5.21 zoom bug, we are given the following code and it is a slightly modified version of the original code that was used in the Microsoft Zoom player in 2008. There's an error in here where it does not really work for a leap year. It says right here that thousands of Zoom players were locked up at the end of 2008, which was a leap year. And we need to look for the problem in this code and then find the error. So we know it starts with, or we know the issue is with the leap year. So when we look at this, this looks correct. This is calling a method that'll get the total days since 1980. So we can assume that we're given the current amount of days since 1980. Then we start out with this year of 1980. And then we have a while loop and it's going to run while our days are greater than 365. That way it'll basically run until we have the current amount of days. And we'll be in our while loop, and if it is a leap year, it's going to execute this code. Otherwise, it's just going to execute this code where it takes our current number of days, it subtracts 365, and then adds a year. Because there's 365 days in a year, this works well. We're basically taking away a year from our days, but then adding a year into our year count. So it's just moving the amount that we are looking at from days to years. Then if we do have a leap year, so for in 2008, we'll be in this if statement instead of this else statement. We'll say if is leap year, and since that's checked, we're going to be in this block of code now. We see that if our days is greater than 366, which it is not a leap year, or which it will be, because even though we're in a leap year, which is 366 days, we still have more days to count. So if our days is greater than 366, we're going to be in here, where we subtract 366, and then we add one to the year. However, once our days is the same as our leap year, which is 366, so let's say we were back in 2008, and the current day is the same day as the 366. Well, then we're going to have an issue with our code where it'll just break. What we need to do is have an else statement after our if statement where if our days is the same as 366, so it's the current date, we will just break out of this if statement right here. And if we do that, we will go back into our while loop and just continue on counting. So this will take a while to run or to submit, so we can do a quick summary of this. In our first two lines, we are um, getting the total number of days since 1980, so this is going to be some huge number, and then we are getting the total, or we're getting the year of 1980, which is where we started at. And we're going to run this while days is greater than 365. And this else statement is totally fine because if it's not a leap year, because this if statement checks if it is a leap year. So if it's not a leap year, um, for so for most years, it's just going to be days is equal to 365, and then it's going to subtract that from the current amount of days, and then it's going to add one to the year. This is how that would work, and it works well. But if we hit a leap year, and if we're only one year ahead in the future, um we are using the is leap year method first off and we are getting the year um, 2008 or 2009 and since it is a leap year we're going to be in this loop or this if statement and then we have the number of days we need to compare here but if our days is the previous year so if it's only 366 days that we have well then it's not going to be in this if statement. So it's never going to execute this code. This code in here works well. However, if we have 366 days, it's not going to be in here. And this else statement was not here originally. So we would just have 366 days. That means we would never execute this loop. We would break out of this if statement and we would not execute this else statement because we've already been in this if statement. And we just have 
366 days, which would be incorrect because then we're going to start counting more days and it would just mess up the whole year to day ratio. And that's why we need this else statement to break if there is a equivalent amount of days to 366. Otherwise, it would mess up this if statement. And after we understand all that, we have passed the test. And this problem is a little tricky, but this is the correct code for this problem.